What do you think are some important points of control uh, to, to have a strong over-under clinch? Gotcha. So, number one, a little history, right? So, when I, when I switched to no-gi grappling, no-gi wrestling, uh, I, I was not very good man because i did not decipher the grip grip gripping paradigm right mm. so i'm like i did not stand like wrestlers i was standing more upright and i felt naked without being able to grab somebody and i'm like god damn it like why, why can i score <laughs> like I, I know i can wrestle i mean because sambo is wrestling there's a prefix right sambo wrestling or suffix rather so i knew i'm sitting like on uh, great skills I just need to find a little adaptation to implement it in wrestling and no-gi submission grappling. So basic grip like this, like uh, uh, Carla and Lapel, uh, so, so, uh, Lapel and Sleeve, sorry. If you go a little bit deeper, you will end up in over-under. You literally take a step, right? So you go from, from, from a, a medium. So you, there is a long distance. That's when you shoot your low singles from far away or whatever and circle around. There is a medium distance when you grab somebody and it's clinch. You know, when there's chest-to-chest -chest contact. So if you get this conventional sambo judo grip a little bit deeper, you will end up in over-under. And that is when I started to feel comfortable because from that position, generally, they cannot shoot on you, you know, unless they clear the tie. And uh, I can operate. So uh, number one, be, have confidence. Sorry for generic advice. Number two, make sure that you drill a lot of variance in that clinch. Because, like, when you wrestle it neutral, you use somewhat safe. But when you enter tight clinch, guess what, man? Clinch works both ways. So I, uh, if I enter clinch without skills, like I, I could be the one who gets tossed. You know what I'm saying? So I spend uh, a lot of time drilling that tight quarter wrestling so I don't freak out because sometimes somebody hugs you. Like, Holy shit, man. That's like a different game at all. It's not like passing. It's not like sweeping. It's not like shooting. I feel like grandpa is hugging me, you know? So you have to be confident, comfortable. And you have to be uh, uh, skilled, right? Because, like, look at 50-50 as far as leg position, right? Uh, like, voluntarily, I do not want to go to that position because uh, uh, whatever I can do to you, you can do to me. Mm -hmm. But then there are people like Ryan Holes that spend so much time in the position, they automatically ahead of the game in a seemingly equal situation. So that's what I want to be. Uh, that's, what I, that's what exactly what I want to do. I want to spend a lot of time drilling, rehearsing uh, moves and clinch with variety of uh, variants and options. So it's not like one move and done, you know. And uh, some of it is technique and some of it is a feel. And sometimes you have that feel and other times the feel gets developed because you spend a lot of time. So when I enter clinch, I don't just stand there. I'm starting to work immediately towards my goal, you know, which is my takedown. And I have ways of uh, uh, negating their tie and, and imposing my... So what I'm saying, uh, if you enter clinch, have skills. And hopefully uh, that product that I put out will uh, help you in doing so. And the product goes over and beyond technique, guys. It goes into like a little trickery, a little feints. It goes into proper pummeling. Because for most people, pummeling is just doing this to warm up. But pummeling could be like a fantastic tool to any grappler, not just a wrestler. So I introduce you to proper pummeling. And I introduce skills of the pummel, such as duck under, arm drag and how to tie it into obtaining double underhooks and yada, yada, yada. So it's a pretty well thought of product. And uh, thank you for noticing that. So yeah. to sum up, to answer your question, know what you're doing before you hug somebody because that hug can backfire.